Welcome to the World Tarot. This is going to be a reading for October for Libra Divine Feminine. So, Holy Spirit, please show me who needs a reading the most right now for October from the Libra Divine Feminine Collective. Holy Spirit, who needs this reading the most right now from the Libra Divine Feminine Collective? Let's see. We've got, so it could be different people. Oh, one is the mastermind, Libra mastermind. Young Gru. Gru creates mischief with his minions and dreams of becoming the world's greatest supervillain. Brains 10, bravery 8, leader 10, mischief 6. Okay, so the mastermind, the Libra mastermind. So that mastermind that keeps appearing is a Libra. Well, they kept coming up as the King of Swords. So yeah. Libra is King of Swords. Stuart, Otto, and Bob. Okay, this King of Swords has multiple personality disorder. Uh, Stuart, Otto, and Bob have combined forces. Now it's one for all and all for one. Banana. Uh, also, they're working, they ha they themselves have multiple personalities. This person definitely has multiple personalities because I know this energy already. I'm familiar with the energy. But they're also working with other people. This is a gang stalker. So the gang stalker keeps getting messages. Why do we keep have to, to give the gang stalker so many messages? I don't know. Dave. Dave is a smart and fearless minion who loves theme parties. Okay, yeah, like I said, multiple personalities, theme parties, is like cosplay, it's probably this person likes cosplay too. This could be an actor, actually. Libra, Libra is the other, right? So this is a person who can become other people. This is like a master of disguise, and uh, even energetically, this is someone who can cloak themselves as another energy. It's like a shapeshifter, right? So this person could be a shapeshifter. They also could be an actor. They could be someone who can uh, play a lot of roles, wear a lot of masks, right? They might not necessarily even be a Libra, actually. But they come up as Libra because they can uh, pretend to be another person than they really are. They're a very good pretender. The great pretender. Very interesting. Okay, Holy Spirit, let's talk more about this person. Young Gru. Nine of Wands. This person is has some trauma. This person's been through a lot. This person could be a soldier, actually. Or um, someone in the military. Someone who could actually have been in the military. Not necessarily, but uh, it could be. But this person has some trauma, some un, uh, some unresolved issues. What kind of trauma does Gru have? What kind of trauma does this uh, Master of Disguise have? Holy Spirit. Two of Cups reversed. So this could be a, a relationship breaking down. Maybe their own relationship, maybe their parents' relationship. Eight of Cups reversed. They want to return to a, a relationship that broke down. And they're very... They're pushing uh, through... They're, they're putting a lot of effort to return to someone. Why do they want to return to this person so bad? Maybe this person hurt them and they want to get back at this person. It could be. Holy Spirit, why does this person want to return to a relationship that broke down so badly? Because of the Eight of Wands reversed, there's no contact, I guess. And um, they want to, to come into union with this person, probably marry the person. So they want to break no contact here. Okay, Six of Cups. This is someone from their past. They, this person could be very stuck on someone from their past. Someone they had a relationship with, the, but the relationship broke down. And there could have been some kind of trauma. This relationship could have been traumatic to one or both of these people. What kind of trauma are we talking about? What happened between these two? Holy Spirit, what happened between these two? Between 
the mastermind here, the actor and the other person. I'm going to call him the actor, okay? Six of Pentacles reversed. It wasn't an equal relationship. It was unrequited. So maybe this person was in love with the person from the past, but the person didn't love them back. But this person is still obsessed with this person from the past, right? It, um, if this person was to go towards this person from the past, how will they be received? If the actor was to go to the person from the past, Knight of Cups reversed, the person would reject them. Yes, yeah, so this is someone, it's as someone who's not taking them back under any circumstance, doesn't want to take them back. Okay, so why, why is this uh, actor so persistent on going towards this person from the past? Why is Gru so persistent on going back to the person from the past? Not because of passion. They have a lot of passion for the person. Five of Pentacles, and they feel left out in the cold. They, it's a fear of missing out, I think. But I don't think that they actually love, love this person. Does Gru actually love the person from the past? Holy Spirit. Does Gru actually love the person from the past? No. Well, te technically the Knight of Swords is a yes, but the Knight of Swords is someone who's angry, who's more like hateful than loving. But he's in the upright, so yes, okay, it's, it's kind of a yes, I guess. I just, okay, Knight of Pentacles, yes, okay, fine. You see, these knights are back to back, these knights are front to front. <laughs> so maybe this person wants to have a discussion with the person that they're thinking about from the past. They want to go quickly towards this person and talk to them. Yeah, you see, because this is like two people who don't talk to each other, right? Maybe a girl and a boy, because this is like um, hearts and wands. And this is, again, like the black and the red, right? It's like the, the male and the female. So this this could be a man who wants to go towards a woman. The full reverse, but there's no new beginning here. Five of Swords reversed, Ten of Pentacles. So this person doesn't want to have any more drama. Maybe there was a, lo a lot of drama between these two. And this, I don't know, one of these people, the person that they're interested in, that Gru is interested in, doesn't want to have to deal with some kind of conflict. Five of Swords in the upright is like narcissistic abuse. So it could be that this person that wants to go back towards the person from the past has actually abused this person mentally. What's with the Ten of Pentacles? Maybe this person already started a family or something. And doesn't want to have any... Does the person who is interested in have a family? Holy Spirit, does the person, or even if they don't have a family, they're interested in having stability, having a, a healthy family life, right? They want to create a legacy with someone, but they don't feel like they can have it with Gru here. Does this person also have a family? I don't... Four of Cups. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think they're just rejecting them they just don't want to have a family with the, with this person with Gru because you see we only have knights here so it's younger people or people who are who are single four of pentacles is also here so this person's really holding back and really rejecting Gru like they they don't want anything to do with him was this person re um now rejected, uh, abused by Gru. Was this person from Gru's past abused by Gru? Six of Wands. It could have been that Gru was looking down on this person. Or on the contrary, put this person on the pedestal.
also six of wands talks about the ego so ten of cups reversed they could have had the relationship in the past and it broke down because of uh, ego because of people being too proud free of pentacles This was supposed to be Libra, Divine Feminine, but I'm getting such a masculine energy. I actually forgot that this is for Libra, Divine Feminine, to be honest. Two of Pentacles reversed. Three of Swords. So there was a lot of heartbreak. I think... Uh, Eight of Pentacles. Eight, eight, eight. Someone wants to work on this relationship again. So if this is the Libra Divine Feminine, if Young Gru is Libra Divine Feminine, do they want this person from the past back? Well, that's what it seemed like. Like they are the one who wants the person from the past back. Yes, they want the person from the past, obviously. How about the person from the past? Is this unrequited? The person from the past is a uh, Queen of Cups reversed. No, they don't love Libra. Four of Swords. They're sleeping on it. It's like they're not uh, giving any energy or attention to this Libra. So, why does, why can't this Libra let go of their person from the past? If it's unrequited. Nine of Swords. Because they have some mental issues actually. It's um, it's an obsession. Six of Swords. Three of Cups reversed. This person can't move on. They've tried to move on. But they can't find anyone that they want as much as they want uh, the person from the past. So even... Um, even if this is a woman, this woman is thinking a lot about someone from their past, but the person from the past is not interested. No love again. There's no love in this situation. Yes, it's confirming again that there's no love. The, the, the other person doesn't love this Libra Divine Feminine. Holy Spirit, what is Libra doing uh, about this? Why can't they move on? Why can't Libra move on? Like I said, uh, this Libra does have an obsession. Seven of Wands reversed. They, they don't respect boundaries. They have issues with boundaries. Seven of Swords. Also, they, they're uh, sneaky. Seven is Libra, number seven, the seven sign. And another seven. Look at that. All the sevens came one after the other. So the, this Libra is um, fantasizing a lot. They're getting lost in their fantasies about this person from their past. Uh, they're not respecting this person's boundaries. And they don't have good boundaries themselves. And they're doing a lot of sneaky things behind this person's back. Trying to get back uh, this person back. Nine of Pentacles. But... The other person prefers to stay to themselves, I think. Seven of Pentacles. And this person keeps waiting for them. Look, all the sevens came out almost one after the other. Also, this Libra could be single. Could have been single for a very long time. Maybe for seven years waiting for this person from their past. Queen of Wands. This Libra could be a spiritualist. Could be a witch. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Um, this person is not very grounded though. It's not a light witch. It's like a dark witch. Queen of Swords reversed. Yeah. King of Swords. Two of Swords. I think the King of Swords is the person from their past. And this Queen of Swords reversed it has an obsession with this King of Swords. 
Or it could be that this person from their past is already married to someone else. And this person here is um, separate. Yeah, I think the person from the past is married to someone else. Right. Holy Spirit, what is your advice for this Libra here? Let's get more advice. Even if this person watches this video, they won't believe. I don't think they will believe that um, that it's unrequited. I think this person needs a mental professional to talk to. And I'm not saying this is it's not a bad thing. I, I, it's just saying that this person needs help. Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for this Libra who is obsessed with someone from the past? Ace of Pentacles, um, start a new beginning, look for someone new. Or accept, accept another offer if someone's, yes, accept another offer if someone else is offering you their love, if uh, every, anyone else, everyone. Everyone else, I said everyone else, so probably this Libra does have a lot of suitors, but they're ignoring their suitors because they're obsessed with the person from the past who is married. Seven of Swords. So they need to face this, right? They're running away from reality, so they need to face reality. Four of Pentacles. Uh, this person's holding on very tight uh, to the person from their past. Who could be a Taurus, actually? Because I was getting a lot of Taurus energy, even if I didn't mention it from the previous spread. Four of Pentacles is Taurus. So Libra and Taurus are both uh, governed by Venus. So they could feel a very strong love connection with this Taurus person from their past. Seven of Cups. Again, they're fantasizing a lot and this is about delusions, really. Seven of Cups is about uh, love delusions, you know, like uh, imagining a whole um, relationship with a person who is not interested in you. Holy Spirit, what does this Libra need to know? Knight of Pentacles. They need to take care of themselves. They need to take an offer from someone else also. I feel like this person does have a lot of suitors, like I said. And they need to take an offer from someone else. Yes, again. Again, I'm told yes. Definitely. There's someone who's really interested in them. Who is this person who's really interested in Libra? Holy Spirit, who is this person who is really interested in the Libra? Holy Spirit, who is this new person who is interested in Libra? Could be an Aries, this fool. Aries or Taurus. Holy Spirit, who is the new person for Libra? Three of Pentacles. Someone they might work with, actually. Or someone they meet in church or somewhere. Five of Cups reversed. No, sorry, it's Five of Cups in the upright. Ten of Cups. So it's someone who is sad because they want a family with Libra. They feel like Libra is their wish fulfillment, but they're sad because they know that Libra is interested in someone else or is rejecting them. Yeah, so Libra feels rejected by someone else and they're chasing the person that is rejecting them. And at the same time, they're rejecting someone who's after them. Usually well, that's when what happens when we... We don't love ourselves enough, right? We don't see our, our self-worth fully. So we're chasing after someone who doesn't see our worth either. King of Pentacles in the upright. So this person's uh, someone who's very stable, who really wants to have a fulfilling relationship, a uh, happy family with this Libra. And I'm getting, again, I'm getting a lot of earth energy for this new person. And possibly Aries. Maybe a mix of uh, earth and Aries, I don't know. Holy Spirit, tell me more. 
Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords. Okay, so the Libra is really stuck in her head in obsession. This is obsession. Nine of Swords with Eight of Swords coming together. They're completely obsessed with the person from the past. They're stuck, completely stuck on this person. So they can't, uh, they can't move forward because of it. Queen of Cups reversed. But again, we're being told that this person from the past does not love Libra. So she, uh, she or he needs to move on. Holy Spirit, any other advice for Libra, please? Any other advice for Libra, please? Holy Spirit, any other advice for Libra? Queen of Wands. Stand in your power, right? I was getting that this person could be a witch, could be someone a very powerful, who has good boundaries, who has self-love. So st stand in your power. Do not, do not turn into the Queen of Cups reverse for this person. Know your worth, basically. Eight of Pentacles. And just focus on your work and work on yourself, right? Forget the person from the past. And work with people who... Four of Cups reversed. Yeah, let go of rejection. Heal from this rejection. And go and be with someone who is actually offering you something tangible. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Stop waiting again. I was getting that this person could be could have been waiting for seven years for, for this person to come towards them. Or could have been dealing with that person seven years ago or something and they, they remain stuck on the person from the past. Ah, Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for Libra to heal and get over this person from the past? Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for Libra to get over the pe person from the past? Holy Spirit, what other advice do we have on getting over the person from the past? It's not even telling me anymore. It's like they, it's probably, this person probably already knows, like they've got the signs already, but maybe they're misinterpreting the signs. Eight of Cups reversed. Yeah, they want, they really want this person to return. What does Ten of Swords reverse? They don't want to bury this with the Eight of Cups reverse and the Ten of Swords reverse is a similar kind of energy. They don't want to walk away. They don't want to end it. They don't want to let it rest, basically. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Ace of Wands reversed. So this person is very codependent on this person from the past. But there's no new beginning with this person from the past. Knight of Wands. That person's probably a player. They could have been in and out of their life. They, they could have only seen her as um, attractive sexually. Two of Cups. Three of Cups reversed. Queen of Pentacles reversed. And Seven of Wands reversed. I think this other person has moved. Since they moved away from, from this Libra, this person has uh, gotten into a, probably another marriage or something. And they don't want to have a third party. <sighs> again. You see how I'm told over and over again that the person from the past doesn't love Libra. Because probably Libra doesn't, this particular Libra doesn't believe it. Maybe they think they're twin flames or something, right? Because I was talking about Libra and Taurus being um, all, both governed by Venus, which makes them feel the connection very strongly. Seven of, again, they've been waiting for seven years, I think, possibly. Also, this is like, um, the pentacles make me think of Taurus, number seven makes me think of Libra. So I think they, um, again, oh my god, the king of cups is in reverse. They have no love for Libra. It's like, wow, I'm, I'm told over and over again. I'm not doing it on purpose. It's, 
what I'm getting here. And maybe this this Libra really wants to compete for this person's affection, but it's it's not working. For, this is not Libra's twin flame, because that's what I was want, trying to ask. Uh, that's what I wanted to ask. If Libra believes that this is their twin flame, but it's not their soulmate, it's not their twin flame. Maybe 54 is significant for someone. <sighs> Holy Spirit. I didn't ask anything, but let's see. New beginning. Two of Pentacles. So there's a new beginning with another earth sign, I think. Possibly another Taurus. Or a Taurus. Or someone has Taurus and Aries in their chart. Okay, so are they gonna take the new beginning with this Aries Taurus person? No. Ten of Pentacles reversed. They don't have a family. Three of Pentacles. They see this person as a co-worker or something. I don't know. Or a colleague. Six of Cups. This is a soulmate of theirs. But also they're stuck in the past again. They're stuck on the person from the past. That's why they don't want to see the, any other person as a potential suitor. Nine of Swords. Yeah, this person has an obsession. It's obsession. They need to talk to someone. And this ha might have to do with some kind of rejection wounds from childhood. Maybe their father or their mother could have been uh, emotionally unavailable to this Libra. Yes, bingo. So this Libra feels that if they have a victory with this person from the past, that will redeem them in some way. Make them feel better about themselves. Two of Wands reversed. But this is not their... Um, they're not going to have a marriage with this person. There's no plan. There's Nothing's going to come out of this plan. Whatever plans Libra is making with this person from the past, they won't... They'll fall through. They, they won't happen. There's not going to be a marriage. The, Libra is just going to stay single forever if, if they keep waiting for... And doing uh, sneaky things to try to get uh, the king of pentacles back. This is like a burden. This has become a very big karmic uh, burden here. Two sevens talks about karma. Seven of wands. I keep getting seven years. So they could have been obsessed for seven years or more than seven. Three times seven maybe. I don't know. They could have been even obsessed with this person since childhood for 21 years maybe because I keep getting 777. Seven, seven. So at least 7 years, between 7 and 21 years. Yes, it's true. Okay. So it's very clear that Libra needs to learn to let go of this person. That, who can help Libra with this? Holy Spirit, who can help Libra get over this? Holy Spirit, who can help Libra get over this person from their past? Holy Spirit, who can help Libra get over? Ace of Pentacles. It could be this person that, that loves them. could be like a Taurus. The person who's trying to offer them a new beginning. Someone's trying to offer them help. Like it's God is sending them someone. Ace of Cups reversed, but they, they don't they don't um, love themselves enough to, to see this opportunity. They're not taking this opportunity. They feel like they don't love the person that's trying to be with them. For they need to let go. They really need to let go of their obsession. One one four could be significant. Holy Spirit, Three of Cups reversed. So there's no reunion with the person from the past. It, it keeps reiterating to me. It keeps coming back to the person from the past to let go of the person from the past. Because until, because it's not happening. It's not coming together under any circumstance. Holy Spirit, 
Anything else we need to know? I'm trying to ask about the person from the, the present, the person who wants to offer them, but this Libra is not interesting, is it is not interested, is acting as if she's not or he's not interested. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Stop working. Um like I said, this person could be doing magic, so stop working spells on this person from the past. Let them go. If you want to do a spell, do do like a releasing ritual. Anything else? How about the new person? Libra, why don't you want to know about the new person here? <laughs> Holy Spirit, what about the new person for Libra? How about the new person who loves Libra? Three of Swords reversed. That person's getting over heartbreak. That person could also help Libra get over heartbreak. But she's not taking, or Libra's not taking this. Libra Divine Feminine is not taking the offer. Ten of Cups reversed, Ten of Swords reversed. Yeah, be they, they can't move into a healthy relationship because they haven't ended the cycle from the past. So, oh my god, I put it on top of the other ten. So now we have three tens here. Three sevens, three tens. That means the end. Some uh, An ending needs to happen, right? Also, three sevens. Three times seven makes twenty-one, which is the world. The world means an ending. So this cycle has ended with a person from the past. So Libra needs to let go of the person from the past once and for all. But they, they're not doing it. And that's why they can't have this fulfilling relationship that they want. Because they think the person from the past is the one who they're supposed to have it with. And it's not true. And like I was told, I was shown that this is not the Twin Flame. This is not their Twin Flame if they care a lot about the Knight of Pentacles again. Taurus. It could be that both the person from the past and the current person are Taurus, both of them. I don't know. Or they could have lots of Taurus in their chart, right? And Libra, look at that. Libra and Taurus back to back here. So they're just not seeing eye to eye. The person from the past uh, needs to be left in the past. Libra needs to run away. See? The person's here. Libra's running away from the person. It's time to go. More stuff. Four of Swords. Healing. Take a break and heal, Libra. King of Wands. Stand in your power. Queen of Cups. Reversed. Uh, cry it out. Knight of Wands. And then move on. So there you go, and on the bottom of the deck we have the Queen of Swords, right? And the King of Swords. Queen of Swords reversed, so I think this is the person from the past. Again, they're staying with their current person, even though the other, that person is in the reverse. Yeah, that's all for October for Libra. Libra needs to let go in, in uh, their birth uh, month, 10 October. Have a good day. Take care.